this is titled cuff leak because this is something we actually measure. But this actually could just be titled leak because what we know during mechanical ventilation is when we put in a volume, that volume should come back out. So in other words, if we put in 500, we should get back really, 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 really close to 500 on the exhalation. So this is inspiration, we put in 500, expiration, we got back 490. What does that tell you? Oh, what we put in, just about all of it came back because the gradient is only 10 mLs, which is lost in the circuit, which is fine. But when we look down here, we put in 500 tidal volume, inspiratory tidal volume, 500, expiratory tidal volume is 100. What's the gradient? What's the difference between the two? 400 milliliters. Big difference. What does that tell me? There's a leak present. Now, if I'm doing a cuff leak test, then I might like that number. But if I'm not doing a cuff leak test and I'm putting in 500 and I'm getting back 100, then I need to examine the, the circuitry for a potential leak because we're losing volume from what we put in to what we get back. A big number, big gradient. It tells me something.